the other thing about the internet that, they, that people don't acknowledge is that it's really good for teenagers because it has lots and lots of nudie pictures. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to say it, but that's awesome. <laughs> it is! I don't know if you know, the internet has like literally dozens and dozens of nudie pictures on it. <laughs> it doesn't matter your sexual preference, your gender, whatever, it's got you covered. Throw any three adjectives in there and you'll see something. <laughs> That's awesome! Remember when you were like 15 or 16 you were desperately in need of a nudie picture and there was nothing? <laughs> All we had was our memory and, ima and imagination. The two shittest tools for that job. <laughs> you couldn't enjoy any time at the beach because you're like, I'm going to have to fucking memorise all of this. <laughs> no, I can't swim. I'm collecting data. Hold on. I need this. You're not going to find nudie pictures in the Encyclopedia Britannica. I know, I tried. I looked heaps. <laughs> National Geographic, maybe. Yeah. Like if you've got some African tribe that hadn't invented up the body clothing or whatever. And pretty much anything you saw on SBS late at night. That's what we had. God, how good was SBS? Far out. You remember, like, you were watching a, a, like, a movie with your dad and then he'd get up to go to the toilet. You just quickly change. And just hope to God soccer wasn't on that night. <laughs> you didn't understand anything of what you saw, nothing of what you read, and you were like, well, I've got to use it, I've got to have it. And then later on, when you needed a nudie picture visual, you just had to like cobble together all those disparate bits that you saw, like you was part bikini lady from the beach and part African tribeswoman and <laughs> part black and white Albanian chain smoking landlady, you know, and just smush it together into one Frankenstein's monster of a kind of visual. I used that one for like three months, serious. <laughs> we didn't even have it that bad when you think about it. It was like TV, SBS, whatever. Think about previous generations when they needed a nudie visual. No, serious, like I always think, when I think about how bad it was, I always think about mermaids. Think about mermaids, you know, the myth of the mermaid came about because sailors were at sea so long They'd see a, sea, a seal or a dolphin or a walrus and think, oh, she's all right. <laughs> How bereft of sexual stimuli would you have to be to look at a 600 kilogram sea mammal <laughs> with flippers and a snout, think, I hope she's single. <laughs> look at her waddle across the rocks there on her belly. Step into the ocean and just snaffle half a ton of tuna. That's, woo! Back off, fellas, the one with the tusks is mine. I've got her. 